Let's continue with the urinary system and in this video we will take a look at blood urea nitrogen, serum creatinine and creatinine clearance test. Each one of those are better than the one that has been listed to begin with. Serum creatinine is better than BUN, creatine clearance test is better than serum creatinine. Remember from time to time I was talking about this lab test although routinely used in the industry as a screening tool. Yes, it does help but it has its own limitation. So let's move on to this and let's dive deep into this uh, aspects of the urinary system. So the two tests commonly used to evaluate the kidney functions are the blood urea nitrogen and the serum creatinine. A common blood test, BUN, the technical home office and the writers, they see this every day, almost every case where they are ordering uh, blood and urine. So the BUN reveals the important info about how well your kidneys and liver are working. Kidney and liver are like a partner, just like the underwriters and the field partners, agents, brokers, they work together. Kidney and liver, they work together, they try to... Uh, I'll get into the details but just to give an overview, the liver sends to the kidney, kidney tries to process, uh, sends back all the blood and uh, whatever remains, the waste products, the urea, the nitrogen through urine has to get out from the body if all goes well. So the common test, the blood urea nitrogen test reveals the important info about how well your kidneys and liver are working. A BUN test measures the amount of blood urea nitrogen that's in your blood. So liver produces ammonia which contains nitrogen. After it breaks down proteins used by your body cells. The nitrogen combines with other elements such as carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to form urea, which is a chemical waste product. The urea travels from your liver to your kidneys through your bloodstream. Healthy kidneys filter urea and remove other waste products from your blood. The filter waste products leave your body through urine. Okay, this is what we have been talking almost in every presentation that we have had on this urinary system. The BUN test revealed whether your urea nitrogen levels are higher than normal, suggesting that your kidneys or liver may not be working properly. Uh, field partners and underwriters have got to work together, just like liver and kidney have got to work together. BUN test may be done if doctor suspects that you have a kidney damage or to evaluate the kidney function or to help determine the effectiveness of the dialysis treatment or to help diagnose a number of other conditions such as liver damage, urinary tract obstructions, congestive heart failure or GI bleeding. Although an abnormal BUN does not alone necessarily mean or does not confirm any of these conditions. So doctors go through differential diagnosis, there is always correlation just like how the home office underwriters, they correlate the medical, non-medical, financial, residual part of the entire profile of the every customer. So doctors, they go through the process of elimination, differential diagnosis, various tests, various options, looking at the individual's personal history, family history, uh, current lab findings, if needed, necessary imaging test to finally come up with what we call the final diagnosis. So the results of BUN test are measured in milligrams per deciliter in the United States and in millimoles per liter internationally. So in general, here in USA, around 7 to 20 uh, milligram per deciliter is considered normal. This is in general. The normal range may vary depending upon the reference rate used by the 
your company or the lab and your age uh, urea nitrogen levels tend to increase with age just like for guys out there your PSA would tend to increase and it would still be considered normal depending upon your age, right? So the high blood urea nitrogen level means your kidney aren't working well. But the limitations to this test are because the elevated BUN can also happen due to GI bleeding, urinary tract obstruction, dehydration, as simple as that. Severe burns, congestive heart failure or recent heart attack, MI, a high protein diet. So lots of other factors that could contribute to spike in the BUN. On the other hand, low urea levels are not common to begin with and it rarely causes a concern. They can represent a low protein diet or a small body type. Okay, so this is on BUN. Compared to BUN, serum creatinine is a better test and here is why. Creatinine is a metabolic end product that is derived primarily from muscle metabolism and to a lesser degree dietary intake. Its rate of excretion is relatively constant and its concentration in the blood serum is minimally affected by physical activity and hence serum creatinine is thus a better indicator of renal function than BUN is. Okay. So the healthy kidneys filter creatinine and other waste products from your blood. The filtered waste products leave your body in your urine. If your kidneys are, aren't functioning properly, an increased level of creatinine may accumulate in your blood. So that's the process that in the overview I was referring to. So the serum creatinine test measures the level of creatinine in your blood and provides an estimate of how well your kidneys filter the GFR. The technical underwriters know there are various calculators out there uh, to come up with the glomerular filtration rate. Kidney means filter, I would say that, that's what kidney does. So the GFR rate determines how, kid, how well or how bad the kidney is functioning or filtering. And of course the creatinine in the urine can measure the creatinine in your urine. So although frequently used as a screening device for renal disease in the industry, uh, BUN and serum creatinine may be misleading for the reasons that we just reviewed and the thing is this that BUN and serum creatinine may remain normal even though 50% of the kidney is not working. So not necessarily that BUN or serum creatinine would be reflected on your routine lab test because when you see any abnormalities in the serum creatinine lot of damage is already done to your kidney. That's the point. So, the kidney might have lost more than 50% of its function. A person who has a moderate BUN elevation is likely to be symptom free. And again, this is another aspect that the person may not have any symptoms. So, that is an additional challenge for the doctor. So, compared to BUN or the serum creatinine, I, which is typically used in the insurance industry, the doctors and or in the clinical practice more reliable tests that we in the industry don't see but of course if you get APS, the medical records, then, then you may see the creating real clearance test and that is more reliable and why is that? Because it takes how the system, your liver and the kidney works in a 24 hour window. The test measures the ability of the kidney to remove creatinine from the blood. A blood sample is drawn and the amount of creatinine concentration is compared with the amount of creatinine excreted in the urine during a 24 hour period. If the kidney is not functioning well in its job of clearing creatinine from the blood, there will be a disproportionate amount of creatinine in the blood compared with the amount in the urine 
and that's why the creatinine clearance test is reliable. The creatinine clearance is the volume of plasma that is completely cleared of creatinine by the kidneys each minute. As opposed to the BUN and the serum creatinine levels which rise with the renal failure, the creatinine clearance levels falls in the renal failure. Okay. So remember, liver and kidney, just like underwriters and different partners, they work together, kidney filters the blood, the leftovers should get out of the urine. When that doesn't happen, if everything doesn't happen the way it should, then you will see spike in your BUN, serum creatinine. Those are good tests up to a point. Creatinine clearance test is the best solution, although you may not get medical records on every case. Okay, that's all I have for now. Let's take a break and see you soon. Bye now.